Gakpo, a landmark summit is set to take place between leaders of ASEAN and the Gulf states next week. The meeting on the 20th of October, which experts say comes amid shared concerns of superpower rivalry, is expected to deepen economic and energy cooperation between the regional blocs. Young Waikid has more. Strengthening links both within ASEAN and with the wider region and beyond. In recent years, ASEAN has been upgrading its relationship with various dialogue partners with the US, China, India, Japan and Australia. Now, these ties have been elevated to what's known as a CSP or Comprehensive Strategic Partnership. Now, CSPs are ASEAN's highest level of engagement with partners and this reflects the breadth and depth of these ties. Now, ASEAN is looking at greater cooperation with the Middle East. Relations have picked up pace with all six members of the Gulf Cooperation Council signing ASEAN's peace pact in recent years. The GCC, which comprises Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Bahrain and Oman, first established ties with ASEAN in 1990. For a long time, the, the relationships uh, was uh, quite modest, to be honest. Uh, it was mostly about uh, cultural exchange, uh, but on both sides, I think there was a certain le level of uh, uh, benign neglect. The GCC had, uh, was established in 1981. Usually in the institutional life of any organization, the first decade is always spent consolidating relations amongst its own members, and that is really the GCC's um, main objective as well. The foreign ministers of both blocs meet every year on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. Now, leaders of ASEAN and GCC are set to meet for the first time in Saudi Arabia later this month. I expect that there will be several, um, there will be a kind of plan of action that will be agreed um, between the two sides that will expand linkages into trade, investments, um, cooperation in the energy space, for instance, because, you know, this is, we are actually talking about a time of transitioning into clean energy because of climate change. I think these are concerns that both sides have equal concerns. There's interest um, in maybe growing the halal food industry, developing the standards in this area. Dr. Saman says the GCC is motivated to boost ties with ASEAN by geopolitics. More and more of the Gulf states are finding themselves in the middle of the US-China competition. You have states such as the UAE or Saudi Arabia that have been deepening their ties with China in terms of uh, connectivity. So those are countries that historically were close uh, partners of the U.S., so they find themselves in a very del delicate spot today, is that look at ASEAN as a case study, as a model, potentially, for them to know how to navigate uh, the great power competition. ASEAN's stand is not to become a proxy for any power. And with its outward-looking policies, the strengthening of cooperation with GCC looks set to bring about more benefits to both sides. Young Waikid, CNA.